you know, liberals and conservatives have largely abandoned the supply side insight launched most dramatically by Art Laffer and his famous curve on a napkin where he showed that lower tax rates beyond a certain point result in higher revenues rather than lower revenues. And this is overwhelmingly true. It's, it's almost a truism. But liberals continue to deny it and conservative economists cowed by the ferocity of the liberal resistance to uh, supply side claims actually preoccupy themselves with specific episodes of American policy. Clinton rose, raised tax rates and revenues surged under Clinton. You know, various specific cases like that that seem to show that uh, higher tax rates can uh, produce larger revenues and, and actually a, a booming economy. But this isn't just a case of the United States. Uh, since I wrote Wealth and Poverty, uh, 50 countries have drastically lowered their tax rates around the world. Uh, uh, 17 countries have adopted a flat tax below 20%, a low flat rate structure that is, epitomizes the supply side view. All these countries have overwhelmingly prospered, generated far more revenues than they did under their high tax rates. And the U.S. is among them. Under Clinton, we actually uh, reduced our capital gains tax by 25 percent, 20 percent. And the result of that was much of the growth in the economy flowed through the capital gains tax. The stock market boom was the source of most of the new revenues under Clinton.